Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the memory base. In this lecture, there is a sixth video related to the memory base question. In this lecture, we will see the OD and the PD question. Again, as I told you, I will always explain with the help of the shortcut tricks. The last five video is available at my YouTube channel, Dr. Harishkar, and the playlist is my this. You can see all those uh, memory base question with the help of the shortcut tricks is available in my YouTube channel. Now let's start with this video. Now, first question is, which is the second order differential equation and a non-trivial solution. If you remember, if you remember my previous lectures, which is available at here, apart from the memory base, you can also see there is a PY questions, uh, uh, topic Y with the help of the shortcut tricks. What I told you, whenever you have this equation like 0 x less than pi, y of 0 is 0, y of pi is my 0. What will be my solution? solution will be n pi over this if i say from 0 to l 0 to l then this is my solution of the non trivial fine now if you compare this equation i can firstly write minus 3 is equal to minus ky or i can return this as k minus 3 y is equal to 0 fine so if you compare them lambda is my here which is n pi what is the L is? L is my pi. Fine. So can you find the value of the k? k is 3 plus n square where n is my integer. Now you can check about the it's a 3 plus something. So it's definitely two options are cancelled. Can n be the 0? Because it's in positive integers. So it can never be 0. And when you take n is 1, it is my 4 is the right answer. How many seconds you are needed to solve the problem? maximum 10 seconds if you remember my shortcut tips as I gave you in the earlier lecture. So this is the way you can solve it. Okay, now look at this second question. What is that? This is a wave equation. Fine. So C is my 2. From here you can see C is 2. Now since it is not given in the form of the sine and cosine, if it is given in the form of the sine cosine, then you can see this is my PY question which is solved with the help of the fully shortcut tricks which is available at here fine this is a wave equation but right now it is not there then how you can solve this equation again a very simple you can write this is x plus ct plus x minus ct divided by 2 plus 1 1 into 2 c is 4 integration from x minus ct and x plus ct fine this is my fx. Now what is the answer of this? Now you can clearly see is x plus c. x is my 5. So what is that? It's a e raised to power minus 5 plus 2t whole square. e raised to power minus 5 minus divided by 2. Plus 1 over 2c. That's a 1 over 4. It's a 5 minus and 5 plus x e raised to power minus x square. Now, if you look about this, as t approaches infinity, this value is e over e raised to power 0, 1. So, this value will goes to the 1. This value will goes to the 1. So, 1 plus 1, 2 over 2 is my 1. Plus, how you can solve it? I can multiply 2 and divide it by 2. Then, it's a 1 over 8. Now, it's an integration of this. Say, e raised to power minus t. So, that is a here. So, 5 plus 2t and 5 minus 2t. Now, if you uh, already say t is there, so I can say this is a x square. Fine. Now, when you substitute t as infinity, so e raised to power minus infinity, it will goes to the 0. Again, it will goes to the 0. So, this part will goes to the 0. So, the right answer is my 1 is the right answer. Again, you can see, so very simple, you can solve in a fraction of second. Okay. Now, this is the partial differential equation. What is given to here? Then the solution existence for this. Now, if you if you look about this question, are they asking about the solution? Are they as asking about find the solution? No, they are asking about the solution exist. So, what is the nature of the solution exist? Solution may be unique, no solution, or infinite many solution. So, if you remember that, what I gave you the earlier tips for you, if it is here when it will be the solution. So, it will be the solution only when P divided by the curve Q 
डिवाइडेड बाय इट्स डेरिवेटिव कर एंड आर डिवाइडेड बाय इट्स डेरिवेटिव कर फाइन ना इफ यू लुक अबाउट दैट दिस इज माई कैपिटल पी के इज माई वन सो पी इज माई यू कैपिटल के इज माई वन आर इज माई वन सो आई कैन राइट दिस इक्वेशन सो रिमेंबर दैट इफ दे आर नॉट इक्वल देन वी कॉल एज अ नो सोल्यूशन फाइन इफ दे आर नॉट इक्वल फर्स्ट टू आर देन वी कॉल एज अ यूनिक सोल्यूशन एंड इफ ऑल आर इक्वल वी कॉल एज द इन्फानाइटली मैनी सोल्यूशन बट ही सेट सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट दैट मीन्स दिस केस विल नॉट बी पॉसिबल नाउ द सोल्यूशन इज गिवन टू बी हियर सो वट इज अ यू यू इज माई के एक्स वट इज अ के दैट इज अ वन एंड आर इज माई वन डिवाइडेड बाय द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द एक्स वट इज द एक्स इज इज अ वन वाई इज माई जीरो एंड इट इज माई के ना लुक एट द ऑप्शन इफ के इज इक्वल टू टू फाइन वट इज दैट इट्स अ टू एक्स ओवर वन वन ओवर जीरो इज वन ओवर टू वट इज दैट दिस इज नॉट इक्वल इफ दिस इज नॉट इक्वल दैट मीन्स द नो सोल्यूशन बट ही सेट सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट वेन के इज इक्वल टू वन वट विल हैपन इट इज माई वन एक्स इट्स अ इन्फिनिटी इट इज वन अगेन दे आर नॉट इक्वल सो नो सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट अगेन कैंसर के इज इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो इज इन्फिनिटी इज इन्फिनिटी सो दे आर इक्वल दे आर नॉट इक्वल इट मीन्स द यूनिक सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट सो इफ द सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट दैट्स अ राइट आंसर के इज इक्वल टू फोर वेन के इज इक्वल टू फोर यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट हेयर इट्स अ फोर के फोर एक्स विच इज इन्फिनिटी इज वन ओवर फोर अगेन दे आर नॉट इक्वल सो इट मीन्स द नो सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट बट वी नीड अ ओनली द वन राइट आंसर सी इज द राइट आंसर अगेन यू नीड अ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम नाउ यू कैन सी अबाउट दिस वन दिस इज द आइलर मैथड एज आई रिसीव द टू डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द आइलर मैथड फर्स्ट वन इज हेयर and second one is this i don't know which one is the memory based question but i can solve both the question what is euler method it's a very simple you can write as a x y f x y fine this is my f x y what is euler method is y plus h times f x y so if i take here x is my 1 this is my 1 what is f x y is root 7 then what is that it's a one if i consider h is my 0.1 then it is my 0.1 times root 7 so that's the answer of this now this is x plus h so what is the answer of this so what is the answer of y 1.1 is a 1 plus 0.1 times you can do it by using the calculator is a right answer because h is my 0.1 if i consider this example then what will happen this is my x this is my y this is my fxy this is my h times fxy now look at that x is my 1 y is my 1 so what is the value of the fx one is root 6 so this value will be my 1 plus 0.05 root 6 so if you use the calculator let me let me open my calculator If I use this calculator, this answer will be one point one two two four seven. H will be my here, so it is zero point zero five, one point one two two four seven. If I substitute here, this is my x, this is my y, so it will be my two into one point zero five plus three into this. Okay, you will get some answer. So that answer will be two point five four three four one one. Then I can this plus 0.05 times of this so if you use the calculator you will get as 0.2496 then it's a 1.10 so the right answer of this is my here is the right answer so this is the way you can solve these py questions or a memory based question on the od and the pd in a simple way i will come up with the next lecture with the more questions till then you can like share and comment on videos best of luck students happy learning